here on Revolution Radio, the high-octane, full-throttle truth hammer that brings down the rain on every bankrupt, morally or otherwise, politician, anybody in a position of power, international banking, the Rothschild cartel, the Vatican, big tech, CEOs, Hollywood pedophiles, all the minions that are falling along with the satanic order. As I speak to you tonight, major things are happening in the world. Indicators are now presenting themselves as we continue forward on this march that we call the plan. I know many people say there is no plan. I even heard General Flynn saying there is no plan. Well, I love the general. I saw him this past weekend again. I only had a chance to shake hands with him once or twice, say hello and goodbye when I was leaving. But I also realized General Flynn has spent a career in intelligence. Misinformation is their expertise. There is no plan. I'm here to tell you there's a plan. And the plan to bring this satanic cabal down is you. We the people. You are the plan. That's how this thing goes down. That's how it shakes out. Got a couple interesting points tonight. Some people that we're going to single out. I have one scumbag, man, is this guy. He is going to regret the day he ever decided to run for a school board and become president of one because now we're going to highlight this scumbag and let the world know how these people operate. But before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about Revolution Radio. Revolution Radio is that very extensive arm of information that flows around the world and brings voices like this program and a number of others on this network in such a fashion that we cannot be taken down because somebody doesn't agree with us. And the best thing that ever happened to me in my world is that I met somebody on Revolution Radio and I was able to have a conversation down the road, reach out to them, figured out a way that maybe I could join this war, the information war that's been going on, certainly since the 17 back channel military intelligence operation got underway and to try to make some sense of all this intel and what's happening out there in the world. And they were my first call. And that's how this program started. And because they have a global reach and because they are privately funded, it gives them extraordinary power simply because of the fact that the customer, the end user, the listener, the audience out there around the world validates not just the network, but every program that happens to be on this network because you, we the people, privately fund this operation. That's how we stay on the air with these very bold and forward messages from all the hosts here, regardless of what the deep state leftist cabal wants to do in trying to shut us up because we put up with no bullshit from anybody. I don't care what their title is, what office they hold. And I'll tell you, what has given this particular show prominence, what has given the Tipping Point prominence or Patriot Street Fighter is that exact quality that came, I guess, out of pure frustration and disgust that finally one day I said, I've had enough. This bullshit has got to come to an end. These politicians and every scumbag media personality that's been working for the CIA Mockingbird, the CIA's Mockingbird program, Mockingbird Media Program, where they're just selling you a line of bullshit about everything in the whole world, programming you to believe the world to be one way when it's truly something different, that I was no longer going to apply my primary character trait of decency and civility. It's time to take the gloves off. It's time to go after these people full throttle, full throttle. And that's what we've been doing since the day we started this program. So I've identified a couple of targets we're going to talk about tonight. We do have a guest coming on tonight. Many of you heard Jeff Zink last weekend. He's running for uh, a congressional seat here in Arizona. And we walked through the election theft machine out here in Arizona. Tonight we're going to touch on Pennsylvania, the criminal cabal there, the scumbags that you saw rolling up brown paper over the glass in the voting areas when they were counting votes to keep the legitimate people, the watchers, from being able to see what was going on inside there as they were stealing many elections. These people have already lost, folks. The satanic order has already lost. There's a lot of work to do, a lot of cleanup, a lot of people to take out, 
a lot of them to bury. But the simple fact is just because they now have to operate as criminals openly where you can see them, where we can identify who they are because they commit the crimes, you catch them in the act, they've already lost. The only weapon that they've ever had, I should say the two weapons they've had, is secrecy and perception. They have maintained total control and abject secrecy from all of their processes and programs and crimes, but they couldn't, can't do it anymore because the sand that was thrown in the gears five years ago was the election of Donald Trump. They've never lost power, ever. And they lost the most powerful seat in the world, and that's the presidency of the United States. Once that happened, the curtain was going to be pulled back, and what was now seen can never be unseen, the pedophiles, the traffic in the underground tunnels, deep underground military bases, movement of little kids and little babies into the hands of the elites by the CIA, by the rogue elements of the U.S. Air Force, by the military-industrial complex, by big tech CEOs, Hollywood people, the big mega mansion preachers like Rick Warren, T.D. Jakes, all these people that Madison Marquette identified as having trafficked her around the world. Tom Hanks, go down through the list. This is what this world has never known until we got a chance to see this back channel information and follow it for three years. I can tell you, we are making progress to the point we are catching these people, folks, everywhere. Before I get into that, just want to let you know we are here in Phoenix, Arizona, and just got a text from Mickey Clan. Uh, Mickey tried to call me uh, just a minute ago. Wanted to talk to her about this issue. I might pull her in anyways on a surprise phone call. In fact, I'm going to actually tell her this, calling you back, because she's the one that alerted me about this, this total scumbag here in, in Arizona that is a president of a school board. This clown does not even have, I don't believe, his own kids. But folks, I've been telling you, this is where the battle's being fought. This is where the architecture can be weakened very quickly. It's the base foundation of the cabal powers. It's the ideology and the idiots that now are part of the fabric of the school boards across the country. So I'm going to bring up this. I'm going to play this. It's this video. You'll be able to hear on audio, actually. But I want you to listen to um, Sherry Sapir. Or the, the person they're actually busting is being outed by this girl who is running for the school board out here in this district in Arizona. So let me bring that up and get that rolling. Sherry Sapper, uh, and she we met her a couple of weeks ago. She's been on the show out in Arizona. She's running for what's called the superintendent of public instruction. It's basically to be the secretary of the Department of Education in Arizona. It's the story in the Daily Mail the other day about... They not only have said that um, a parents are domestic terrorists for going to these uh, to talk to debating CRT and mask and all that at these school boards. Now they're actually doing surveillance. Sherry, tell us yes. what's going on. Yes, in the Scottsdale Unified uh, School District, we actually have an active recall on some of the school board members because we have been fighting with them, of course, about the mandates and the woke curriculum. And one of the president, actually, of the school board um, sent an email to one of the mothers, but he didn't realize he sent a Google Drive that had a bunch of information. And when she looked it up, uh, she found hundreds and hundreds of documents, including bankruptcy information, mortgage information, social security, numbers, background checks, uh, divorce decrees pictures, screenshots of uh, media posts by the parents, and about 50 of us are on that drive, and uh, in including some very incriminating, self-incriminating evidence. He had body camera actually on himself in the school board meetings. He hid himself under a ham uh, helmet and uh, kind of walked around and videoed us and uh, had a private investigator on the spot in the public uh, school board meeting, actually taking pictures of our um, plates, our car plates. So 